Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have a very exciting new release from Patrick Ta. You know, it's a good day when I get to pull out my Patrick Ta major merch. And no better time to do it than with this release. Patrick Ta has released some new Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blushes. We'll talk about what's new and what's kind of new. And he has also released five shades of his Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss, and those are all new. And I have all the shades here, except one, which I'll explain. And I have a demo, I am very heavily wearing one now, a little heavier than I normally would, but I just wanted you to kind of get an idea of what they look like. But we will be demoing them in a montage in my own inimitable style. We'll be looking at swatches in two different lighting and giving you all the information that you need on this brand new Patrick Ta release. Okay, so the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush has been around for a while. There were four, I think, original shades that were always sold out in the US on Sephora. They were just like always sold out. They're not now, they're back. If you wanted some of those original shades, they are back. And what happened before the holidays, Patrick Ta released a really cool, it mine's all fingerprinted, so I gotta kind of brush it off here, but he released a really cool trio palette of three powders with their three matching cream blushes. Um, and it looked like this. And this sold out so fast. In fact, mine was missing a part and I wanted to exchange it and couldn't because there wasn't one to exchange it with. So mine is still a little broken, but well loved. Um, and those that sold out so quickly and never came back. I was really surprised to see that. So what Patrick Ta has done is he has released these three shades from his really hit sellout blush palette. He's released all three of those as new individual double take cream and powder blushes. And then he's added in a new shade. So as you can imagine, I bought the new shade but I didn't buy the three I already had in the palette. They're the same shades and they do swatch the same so we can talk about them, okay? Each of these little individual blushes, including the original four. So we have a total of eight now, the original four shades. We have uh, three that come from this palette and are now individual. And we have a new shade called She's Blushing. Each of those is now sold individually for $34 dollars each. So we're going to talk about those and look at them. But we also have five shades of a brand new product called the Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. And each shade in that is $24. I picked up four of the five shades. That's the one shade I'm missing. What I am missing is a shade called Looks Natural, which is a completely clear plumping lip balm. And I skipped that one. The, and I'm kind of glad I did because I knew, you know, you know what a clear lip gloss looks like. What I picked up instead is Pouty, which is kind of a baby pink. Don't worry, we're going to swatch it and I'm going to try it on. I picked up um, two CCs, which is kind of a pink shade. You're going to see it in a minute. Full syringe, which is kind of a red shade. And superficial, which is kind of a beigey nude shade. Um, they are, as you can see, I'm actually wearing superficial now. And you can see that it is very clear. These are not highly pigmented. They're definitely a kind of a tinted gloss. They are plumping. And it Tastes and smells to me like they're using cinnamon to plump that. But like I said, those are each $24 and we have all the shades here to look at as well. I wanna talk about how they look, how to put them on, how they feel and show you them. First of all, I wanna look at all of this right now in studio lighting. We're gonna look at it in two different lights, but in studio light, we have the swatches of the blushes on the left. I did powder and then cream in each swatch. So you're gonna see the powder first and then the cream followed by the lip glosses. Let me tell you the order. Here they are on my arm. First of all, we have She's Blushing in powder and then cream. She's a Doll, powder and then cream. Vibrant, powder and then cream. And Baked, powder and then cream. And then followed by the four lip glosses, Pouty, two CCs, full syringe, and superficial. And do remember that looks natural, the clear shade, is missing. I've got to admit I cheaped out and didn't get that one. Come on, you can't blame me for that. And I want to show you them just a little bit better. Um, it's really tough to get things that are color correct between my camera and your screen. I just think it always helps clear things up a bit if we take it outside. So let's go into the warm California sunshine. Take a look at those same swatches you just saw inside. Take a look at them outside. There we go in the same order with the blushes 
and the lip gloss is so, so pretty. I just absolutely love them. Now what I want to do is I want to try them on for you. And the way that I've done this in the demo is I always do Patrick Ta's suggestion. And what he does is he places, I have to remember when I open this, you guys, they look so much like the Tom Ford, but the Tom Ford opens from the top here and the Patrick Ta opens from the bottom. So if you're a Tom Ford fan, you got to readjust to the Patrick Ta packaging. What he does is he does powder and cream on top, which is kind of the opposite of what we hear a lot, but that's Patrick Ta's way. He feels that the cream really melts into the skin and I agree with him. Just to make you laugh, this little plastic flap here, there's a little plastic flap that makes sure that the chocolate doesn't get in the peanut butter. Do you remember the old Reese's commercial? So make sure that the powder and the cream don't mix. And I personally just like to call this the Ta flap. Um, somebody gave me such a hard time once in comments. She said, Natasha Denona did that first. Natasha Denona absolutely did that first. But Denona flap doesn't have a good ring to it and Ta flap does. Just all about editorializing it. And you know I have a goal. You have your goals, I have mine. I would like to walk into a Sephora one day and hear one of the sales assistants say, you just move up the top flap, you know, with no irony, like I want it used in the everyday lexicon. So get it out there, princesses, use top flap. I wanna make it an actual beauty term. That's just, just my personal goal. So I wanna go now and try it on. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna pair each one of these four blush shades with a one of the what I think is a good coordinating lip gloss and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it do watch for she's blushing which is actually going to be um I think our first yeah that's going to be uh, she's blushing is going to be the first shade out the gate in the uh, montage that's the one that is completely and entirely new but please remember that all of the lip glosses are indeed new we'll talk about scents uh fragrances and feels and all that right after the montage so stay right there Okay, we're back. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope. I, let me tell you, I love these shades. I overdid it, if you couldn't tell. I overdid it really dramatically in the montage, of course, because I just wanted you to see what all of the shades looked like. That was really important to me. So I've overdone it, but I've also noticed even when this palette was released as a palette, that Patrick Ta overdid it in all of his um, kind of media for it too, and social media for it. So I figured why not? Can't be wrong if he did it, right? And remember that I did powder and then I did the cream on top. Let's talk about the the one brand new shade. I still want to open it like a, like a Tom Ford palette. Uh, this new one, she's blushing. I would say you guys, and I can do more swatches, um, next to each other on Instagram. If you look at my favorite one in the in the palette, which is now a single, which is She's Baked, and you look at She's Blushing next to it, it's almost like She's Baked, let me zero in on that, it's like a little bit of a richer version of the brand new She's Blushing. So if you liked She's Baked, She's Blushing is even a little less dramatic, which I like. Some people had trouble with the other two shades that are now, of course, singles because they were so bright. And you saw, I mean, though I intentionally overdid it, of course, in the montage, you did see that they are very, very powerful and beautiful. Patrick Todd knows his way around a powder cream combo. I don't know how he does it, but he is indeed the king of it. They wear beautifully exactly what you'd expect. And I think it's really exciting that on Sephora, I noticed the original 
four, so a total of eight shades, are now available in these singles. And that is fantastic for $34 each. Let's talk about the Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. You might have noticed in the montage that they are all very sheer, as I mentioned in our intro, with just a little bit of a tint to them. Um, they are plumping, so you will have a little bit of a sting, but it is not bad. If you've been with my channel a while, you'll know that I often speak about how I do not like plumping lip glosses because they make me want to run around kind of screaming like my hair is on fire. These have a little bit of a minty, cinnamony feel, so you can feel a slight tingle on the lips, but it is not anything that builds up to some sort of terrifying crescendo. You know what I mean. If you've ever tried those bee sting ones, you're like, no, no stop, stop, stop. And you look in the mirror and you're like, I like it, but I'm in pain. I like it, but I'm in pain. Sour cream, I wanna smear sour cream, you know, right? Okay, is that just me? Sour cream's delicious anyway. Maybe it's just a sour cream excuse. But at any rate, these are nothing like that. I'd say if you have the Fenty Heat, these are even a little bit less intense than the Fenty Heat, and they are super pretty on. I am still wearing, which one am I wearing here? I'm still wearing Superficial here on my lips, but as you can see, it's a very soft, gentle nude shade. So I'm kind of glad that I did not get the totally clear one, unless of course you wanna put that over a red lip, but I feel like I could do that with some of these tinted ones too, and this barely pink, pouty one, I feel like you could kind of get away with it as clear because they're very, very gentle with their pigmentation. So the feel is a tiny bit tingly. Because it's less tingly, you also get less plumping, but there is a plumping effect. You're not gonna get the kind of, the plumping comes with the pain, you know? So you're not gonna get as much, but it's still very pretty and very flattering. And these would really be lovely with, um, you could put some lip liners underneath it or some lipstick underneath it. I didn't do anything like that here because when I first try it, I just wanna make it a really unadulterated, this is it, your imagination, what you do with it. But I'm happy to put a few combos together if you request it on Instagram. That would be my absolute pleasure to do that for you. Just ask for it down below here or over on Insta. I'm happy to do it. Let's talk about the fragrance. I know you're asking. So the fragrance of these, um, obviously there's no fragrance in the blushes, or not obviously, Let's just say there's no fragrance in the blushes. The lip gloss reminds me a bit, they all smell the same, more than a bit, it has a little bit of a cinnamon scent. Combined with the scent of, do you remember, and I didn't like it, but I can handle it here. Do you remember quite a few seasons ago, Patrick Ta did that, um, it was kind of a, a gel, it was like a goopy thing and you put it on here on the decolletage and it kind of made like a body glow. It had a really kind of tooty, fruity, I think cloying scent, frankly. This has a little bit of that scent in it mixed with a little bit of cinnamon, but I can handle it. The other one actually made me, <laughs> didn't like the feeling and scent of the other one. So this one is handleable and the scent absolutely dissipates, leaving you with a slight minty tingle. So if you don't like a tingle and you don't like a scent at all, then this will not be for you. And also, again, this is not a highly pigmented gloss. Um, yesterday I filmed a video you guys haven't seen yet with the YSL Candy Glaze, and that's kind of a gloss with a lot more color. The Mario uh, recent lip releases, not his new cream that he's coming out with, but the recent kind of gloss had a lot more pigment. This is really a traditional gloss with just a little bit of shiny pigment to it, if that makes sense. So I hope I was able to answer all of your questions, but if, I, if you need more swatches or if you have more questions that I didn't address, just let me know below princesses. If I don't get back to you, it means your comment was removed and not by me. It means the big YouTube monster ate it. So just try it again or hit me up over on Instagram so I can answer any questions that you guys have. Leave those comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. We got so much good stuff and so many new products coming up just this month alone. I don't want you to miss it. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.